This video shows you how to calculate the absolute location. The example I'm going to use is determine the absolute location of the dome in block B8. Now if you go to your map, you will see B8. So we know it's somewhere in this block. Now what is important, when we calculate the absolute location, we always use the top left hand corner to determine which line is our latitudinal line and which line is our longitudinal line. Now if you go and look here, you can see there is the dome. Now what is the dome? So the dome is a peak in this mountain range. And what map symbol do we associate with the dome? And you can look and you will see there is a trick beacon. So we need to use that trick beacon and not the name the dome for our calculations. As I said to you in the presentation, you need eight pieces of information to calculate absolute location. The first one is degree, minutes, and seconds south. And the other four pieces of information is degree, minutes, seconds east. Now, immediately we know it's south and east. Why? Because South Africa is in the southern hemisphere and we are also in the eastern hemisphere. Another thing, we always indicate the latitude first, followed by the longitude. I also said to you, six pieces of information you read off from the map. So degree in minutes and degree in minutes south and east, those are plain simple map reading skills. We only need to calculate the seconds. So let's have a look. If you look, Again, there's the dome. I said to you, the top left-hand corner is always used as our reference corner to determine the line of latitude and longitude we're working. So, this is the line of latitude that we're working with. Now, what line of latitude is that? You follow it till the edge of your map, and you can see that's 34 degrees. This will be 34 degrees, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 4 minutes, etc. So for the dome, that line we're going to use, and you will see it's 34 degrees, one minute. So we can already go and say 34 degrees, one minute. Now for longitude, there's the dome, there's our reference corner. So this is the line of latitude. So I need to go and determine what is this line of latitude. If you look there, this line is 18 degrees, 45 minutes. You can see this printed 50, so this will be 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So this reference line of longitude is 18 degrees, 52 minutes. And we can already go and write it down, 18 degrees, 52 minutes. The only calculations we need to do, do is to determine what are the seconds. Now I've given you the following formula in the textbook is distance over total distance multiplied by 60 seconds over 1. Now let me first, this is, this is the first method. There are two methods that we can calculate absolute location. So distance over total distance multiplied by 60 seconds over one. Where do I get that? So what we're going to do is we're going to take the distance from this reference line of longitude, we're going to measure it, and we're going to put it over the total distance between two consecutive lines of latitude. Now if you take a ruler and you measure, measure and people this is the standard distance. On any topographical map you will see the distance in between two lines of latitude is 37 millimeters and then what we need to do is we need to measure then from there to there what's the distance to get to the dome now if you do this you will see that it's 32 and a half millimeters I'm just going to zoom in a bit There you will see the total 
distance from one line to another line of latitude is 37 millimeters. And if you look there at the tree beacon that represents the dough, we always use the middle of a map symbol and you will see it falls between 32 and 33 millimeters. So I'm going to use 32 and a half millimeters. So getting back to this formula, the distance that I measured is 32,5 millimeters. What is the total distance? 37 millimeters. Now where do I get multiplied by the 60 seconds over 1? 1 degree of latitude is 60 minutes. 1 minute. So this total distance here represents 1 minute and 1 minute is 60 seconds. That's where we get it. So this is the latitudinal calculation. Now if I do this, and I'm going to take my very large calculator, so we said 32.5 divided by the total distance is 37, and then we multiply it by 60 seconds, and you will see it's 52,7 seconds. So my answer here is 52,7 seconds. But we don't indicate seconds usually as a decimal, so we're going to round it off to 53 seconds. We follow the similar method to calculate longitude. The same formula. But what we need to do now is we need to go and measure the distance between two lines of longitude. You will see the total distance between two lines of longitude is exactly there, 31 millimeters. And the distance from this line to the dome, you will see is 25 millimeters. So for longitude, the distance measures 25 millimeters. The total distance is 31 millimeters. And again, to change this into seconds, we multiply by 60 over 1. 25 divided by 31 multiplied by 60 over 1 gives me 48,38. So it gives me 48,38 seconds. Again, we round it off to the nearest second, and in this regard, it will be 48 seconds. But this is not your final answer. You need to write it down again. So you can see we read off it's 34 degrees, 1 minute, and now we've calculated 53 seconds south and 18 degrees. 52 minutes and we've calculated 48 seconds east. It's very important to show all your calculations and that you also indicate all the symbols because you're going to lose marks if you do not indicate all your calculations and use the correct symbols. I just need to emphasize here where students get confused. If you measure in this direction, you measure parallel to a line of longitude. But remember, think which line you start off. You start with a line of latitude and we measure in a southwards direction. South always indicates that is latitude. If we measure from here to here the longitudinal position, we start at a line of longitude. It's parallel to latitude, but remember we start and we measure in a easterly direction and east means it's a line of longitude so please be careful that you do not confuse yourself between which measurement is latitude and which measurement is longitude now the second method that we can calculate um, absolute location is where we use millimeters and we calculate the length of one millimeter. So the second method that we can employ, I'm just waiting for this thing to focus again. 
there we go. So the second method is where we say 37 millimeters equals 60 seconds. And this is for latitude. Can I do that? Yes, because I've measured from this line to that line. So it's between two lines of latitude. The total distance is 37 millimeters. Between two lines of longitude, the total distance is 31 millimeters. So for longitude, I can then say 31 millimeters equals 60 seconds. If we measure, we we usually use millimeters, so to get 37 millimeters to 1 millimeter, I divide by 37. What I do on the left, I do on the right hand side. And if you do this, so this will be 1 millimeter equals 60 divided by 37. And you will see, sorry, let me redo that, 60 divided by 37 and you will see it gives you 1,62162 and in this case work with two decimal values so I can now say 1 millimeters 1,62 seconds exactly the same for longitude 30 millimeter, 31 millimeters divided by 31 millimeters what I do on the left I do on the right and if I now take 60 divided by 31 I get 1,94 so 60 divided by 31 gives me 1,935 I round it off to 1,94 seconds so in the second method you take 1 millimeter and you calculate how much it presents in seconds for both latitude and longitude now you've measured and I will show you again from the dome latitudinal measurements from that line to the dome and I've showed you previously it's 32 millimeters so for latitudinal position I can say 32,5 millimeters equals I've calculated 1 millimeter equals 1,6 one six two thus thirty two comma two thirty two comma five millimeters will be thirty two comma five millimeters multiplied by one comma six two seconds and this will give us thirty two point five multiplied by one point six two and you will see fifty two comma six five fifty two comma six five seconds and we round it off to the nearest whole number or integer and that gives me 53 seconds the same if I measure my longitudinal position for the dough again this is my reference line you will see the total distance there of the distance from there to the dome is 25 millimeters thus in this case 25 millimeters will be 25 millimeters but for longitude I calculated 1 millimeter is 1,94 seconds if I calculate this 25 multiplied by 1.94 seconds and you see it gives me 48,5 and we round it off to 49 seconds Again, similar than in method 1, this is not your answer, so your final answer will be 34 degrees, 1 minute and 53 seconds south and 18 degrees, 52 minutes and 49 seconds east. Now if you compare the two answers, that was the answer for method 1 and this is the answer for method 2. You will see there is one second difference between the latitudinal position and that is okay. Because we are rounding off, it means we might get a bit of different answers. 
When marking this, we do allow a margin of error, but the margin of error is very small. So I strongly advise that you really do very accurate measurements. So these are the two methods that we can use to determine the absolute location of a feature on a map.